In this tutorial, we're going to practice our pen tool skills by tracing this monstera leaf. And I got this from Adobe Stock. And here it is right here in my libraries. And then all you have to do is drag this to your artboard, place it. And then what I've done here, and I'll show you in my layers panel, is I've put it on layer one here and created a template layer. So if I double click on this layer, we can see all you need to do is just check template and that makes this automatically dim to a percentage that you set. I've got mine set to 35% here. It's locked and we can see because it's a template layer, the name of the layer is in italics and it has this little different icon here and we can still turn it off and on. That just means it's a template layer. And so I've got a layer two here where I can draw above it. I've changed the highlight color of this layer. Just double click on that and use this menu here to pick whatever color works best for you so that you can see what you're doing with the pen tool. And that's how I've set this file up. Next, before we start tracing, I'm just going to highlight two shortcuts that I'm gonna be using as I trace this leaf. And these are shortcuts that I think you really need to have at the ready whenever you're using the pen tool. The first one is the command or control key. So if I go ahead and get my pen tool out and I tap on command on a Mac control on a PC, we can see I switch from the pen tool to the white arrow or the direct selection tool. And this allows me to do some editing as I work. The other keyboard shortcut that I like to have at the ready is the Option or Alt key. Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC. And what this does for the pen tool, as I'm drawing here, I'm just clicking and dragging and it's creating these nice smooth points. Smooth points are the points that have the handles on either side here and they sort of work in this seesaw fashion. And if I click and drag and then press the Option key, what that does is it breaks the handles allowing you to change direction of the curve by creating a corner point. So I'm gonna place another point here, then press Option or Alt, break the handles and move them, and then I can sort of change direction there. And it just allows you to create corner points that have curve handles on either side of them. All right, so I'll delete that and let's get started. All right, so I have the pen tool. I have my fill set to none and my stroke set to this hot pink color so we can see it. And I'm just going to raise the point size to two points so it's a little easier to see. And then I'm going to click and drag, just starting right here. And I'm looking for the apex of some of these curves that we're finding here in the leaf. And clicking and dragging, I'm just creating smooth points. And this isn't super accurate, but close enough, I think, to make this look like a good leaf. And then clicking and dragging, I'm gonna go around this corner here and click and drag. And then here, looking for another little curve apex there. And now I'm going to make this corner here by clicking, and then I'm going to hold down on the Option or Alt key and drag to create one of those broken corner points that we just talked about. And now I'll release on option and then click and drag and then go right over here and click and drag. And now right here, this is a smooth point. And so this is why I'm going to use my command or control key because I want to do just a quick edit there. So I'm holding down command and let me just adjust that handle so that curves a little better there. All right. Now, over here, I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key on my keyboard and then break this curve handle here and then continue creating another curve by clicking and dragging. I'll go around this corner. There's a little bit more detail there that I'm not really picking up on, but I'm working kind of fast here. So I'm clicking and dragging and now I'm getting down to this next corner here. So clicking and dragging. Once again, I'm gonna press Option or Alt and break this handle. And notice when I do this, when you release on your stylus or your mouse, and then you release on the Option or Alt button, you've got your pen tool again, you can see the curve preview. And I can tell already this, the way I have this handle set up, the curve's not gonna work for me. So now I'm going to press Option again, I'm gonna click on that curve handle 
and drag it in this way to see if I can get this in a little bit better position. And then I can drag to sort of make an S curve there. And once again, I've created kind of a handle that's too long for this. And so I want to use this time the command key because the, the problem here is, is if I use the option key here, I'm going to break the handle. But let me undo that. If I use the command key, I switch to the white arrow and I can shorten this handle here, just making sort of a quick little edit. Rather than breaking it, I get to keep that smooth point there. All right, so clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging. I'm just going around the corner here. And again, I want to maintain this smooth point, but just shorten the handle. So hold down on command or control, shorten that handle. And now we can go around this curve in just a little bit more of an accurate way. Okay, so now I've reached another corner here. So again, I'm going to hold down on Option or Alt and then get my little knitting needle corner point here with the broken curve handles. And then go ahead and go around this corner. And as you can see, I really cheated that curve there. So what I'll do is I'll go back to Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, and click on that anchor point. And with the Direct Selection tool now, I can just make an edit change that curve handle, then release on command or control to go back to the pen tool, clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging. I'm going to go around this little corner here with a nice smooth point. Oops. Sometimes that happens when you're using a Wacom tablet. All right. So here I've got a point where I don't want it. I just need to move this point. And so here's another shortcut that's great to use with the pen tool. And that is just hold the space bar and that suspends drawing so that you can reposition that point there. And once you do that, release the space bar, work with your handles there, and then go on to the next point, holding down option or alt and breaking that point there, making another really tiny smooth point. And just going around here, clicking and dragging. Once again, Option or Alt allows me to break. And I also made a mistake there clicking. So let me undo that. Command or Control Z. And again, I'm just going to use my spacebar shortcut here so I can move this point to a better location and then continue on with clicking and dragging, creating more smooth points here. Okay, going right there for that apex. And I think it's just going to be a couple more smooth points and I will just about be done. Now, finally, I want to turn this corner here. So option or alt to break. And then, so you can see I'm hovering over the final anchor point there and I'm just going to click to close the shape. All right, there might be a couple places where I need to go back in and edit. Right now, I've switched to my white arrow. And when I hover over this path segment between the two anchor points, you see this path reshape icon coming up. And that just means I can click and drag to reshape the path. And that also moves the curve handle simultaneously. All right, now I'll move this off to the side so that we can take a look at it. And I'm going to select the leaf with the white arrow and just make one last adjustment here with the path reshape tool. I'm just going to pull this out just a little bit, see how that looks. All right, so we're going to leave it like this and I'm going to turn this into a silhouette, just selecting it. And then I'm going to use the shortcut shift X that swaps the fill and the stroke. You can also use this little button right here to do the same swapping of the fill and stroke. And now we have a nice Monstera leaf silhouette. And I'd like to take it a little further and draw some of these details in here and add some shading and of course make this green. So please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to make another tutorial where we're going to pick up where we left off here. And I'd love for you to join me for that. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned.